Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca Dances with Pitbulls. We are going to do some mixed media. Yes, we are. Look at my ATCs. Look. Look at them. I love them a lot. I love them so much that I took this pile to work and I passed them out. <laughs> Like, look what I made. Look what I made. Look what I made. So I'm going to start selling Crazy Quilt Fabric again. And I like to tuck these in, you know, as a little thank you gift. So we need more. We need more. And, and I got this idea. I watched like a seven-year-old joggles.com video. And a lot of the things that they used are not available anymore. But we're just going to use what we have because that's how we roll, right? Get yourself some boxes. This is not important because I'll probably cut that off, but oh well. And I know you would think, well, you're going to use this side. No, we're going to use this side. I have two boxes. I eat a lot of crackers. Don't really eat a lot of cake, but you know. This is probably two years old. Where's the... I thought there was an expire on it. Um, gesso. I don't normally use gesso, but let me show you something. See that texture? That's because I used gesso and I used a crappy brush as opposed to a good brush. So grab a crappy brush, you know, one you didn't take care of very well, it's stiff and ugly. And grab your gesso. I can't remember where I got this. Did I get this online? I don't know. And just do this. And just do this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We don't want perfect. We want lines and globs. And texture, texture, people. Okay. Find yourself someplace. Let that dry. I'm going to do this one. When they're dry, I'll come back. Second coat. Don't worry that you can see through these. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to use up some stuff. This is ancient. Will it still be viable? Is the question. I don't believe it is. Dang it. Well, <laughs> c'est la vie. I know this is good, but I don't want to put it on first. Okay, so okay, we're gonna go with this this one and. just going to be on the big one. We'll do warm colors on this one. And just carry on.
And what you're going to do is let it dry in between coats so when we put another color on, we do not make mud. So what I'm going to do is get all of this paint out of here. Before I go wash that, I'm going to grab another brush. Let's go with this red. This may actually cover the whole thing because I wasn't thinking situation normal that's okay it can be our base coat Okay, we're going to let everything dry. Can you see that texture? Oops, I meant to do that. Yeah. All right, we'll be back. Round two. Cover up your white spots, your whitish spots. It can be thick, you can leave it thick. For texture, oops, I meant to do that. Might come in with some different green. Well, we have that interference. What is that called? Iridescent top coat acrylic. Iridescent. We'll see. We're going to find out. Get a new brush. And let's do some orange and pink. I meant to do that on oh, my blue. It's okay because I got blue on this one. Now I got orange on that one. Yeah, situation normal. <laughs> Just cover that up. <laughs> Ah, look. <laughs> I 
had transferred. <laughs> oh, brother. Well, Bob Ross's happy accidents, right? This is Melissa Bishop's paint booger. just going to do this because contrasting colors, man. Okay. But I am going to wash these brushes out again. And whoops, look at that. Whoops. <laughs> Things you don't want to hear. Whoops. Round three. I'm going to go with this for this one. And the wind's howling out there. Hmm. Green. Amplified the green we have on there, but the orange still shows through. That's wild. So is it gonna? Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. So for this one, I want some pink. Come on. I'm just going to use that same brush. See what happens. some more orange on there. Maybe. I kind of like it a lot. So I want this too. Hmm. Well, all we can do is wait for this layer to dry. Maybe put some gold. Yeah, some gold. Okay, it's getting really exciting now. <laughs> We're gonna put on some gold. Bubble. S 
sorta, kinda. We're gonna chop it all up anyway. may have gotten carried away. Who, me? Come on. Oh, dang, I love this gold. What if I rubbed some of that back? Just some. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa there, Nelly. get the pizza cutter out. <laughs> what is that? What is that? That is quite odd. Did I do that? Did I do that? Plug it up with some orange. Boy, I'm about ready to throw this one away too. Yep, me and my spit on the wet cloth. Not my brightest idea, evidently. Okay. Should I? And of course, my ruler is buried under paint and cards and what have yous. This is seven inches, so we can cut them in half. Must you be so jumpy? Two and a half by three and a half artist trade is trading cards. Okay, what was I saying? <laughs> Two and a half by three and a half. When I was so rudely interrupted, look at that. That is on that fold. Oh my God, they're beautiful already. Oh my gosh.
Can she do it? Probably not. I can do this though. There you go. Look. Look at my cards with texture and funky paint and weird bumps and glowing whatever. Look. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, how big is this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's cut this this way. <laughs> Can you hear the wind? Call the wind, Mariah. Okay, it moved. I didn't move it, it moved. Really? I could actually call that good enough. Let's just do it. We ain't no professionals here. What is it about this metallic paint that grabs my heart and squeezes? Looking up at the camera, uh, you're way over there. I just remembered I forgot a step, but we can still rectify. I was wanting to get in there and cut things. I forgot to stamp them. Let's look at these green and blue ones. Oh my gosh. Now you see why it was important to use a craptastic brush on your gesso. Oh man, these are awesome. Awesome. It's 
Yep. I love them. I love them to pieces. I mean, seriously. Okay, get ready for the next part. I finally figured out that I actually needed to let these dry, like overnight, for this next step. So it is the next day. And we're going to use some stays on ink and a small flourish stamp and I will start down here and set them out of the way Okay, sometimes when you sleep on things, you don't like them as much, but I like these even more. <laughs> even more, I say. On the joggles.com video, she used a liner brush and some acrylic inks, like pearlized but I'm going to use metallic markers and couple. I have a couple of different kinds. I have this kind and then I have the ones I got at the Dollar Tree, a dollar store, Dollar General. Hello. So hold on. Did I show that one? <laughs> no. These go together. Okay. Those two are first from the same pack. I have a regular Sharpie and I have these. So what you're gonna do So we're going for this. You just make some circles. them a little thicker so what I would probably do is go through and do all the red ones start with blue circles on all of these Then I would switch over to the bluish greenish and I would start with, let's see what the purple looks like on it. So then I go through and do all the blue ones with purple. Okay, so I use this. So let's go with silver. You can go on the inside of the circle or let's see, I'll do the outside on this one. And 
I'll do the inside on this one. I'll do the inside on this one. Oops, I just picked the paint. I thought it would be dry enough not to do that. But, oh well, what are you going to do? So, let's keep up the silver. Perfection is not your friend. I think we'll go back to the purple. Pick a warm color. How about this? To finish off this one. I don't know why that looks so pink. When that is obviously red and this is pink. Alright, what is up with that? What do you expect for a couple of bucks, huh? I don't have a liner brush. Do I? Hmm. I should check that out. And give her away a try one of these days. Okay. Nope. No, nope. yeah, we did three on that one. Okay. Now, use a very light hand with this and you outline each color and you can use any other pen this is what I grabbed but on this one, you can see I just used a regular pen. I don't think I outlined those at all. So, <laughs> there you go. It's up to you. I'm going to outline on these. So make your own choice. There's no right or wrong on these cards. The 
next thing you're going to need either you're going to use either a white jelly roll pen or your marker and I will show you I gotta go grab my pen jelly roll. I'm going to do the purple. And you just make little dots in every purple circle. Or you could use this again, and I would do these in the silver. Okay, do that to all of your cards, and we're ready for the last step. So I bought these a long time ago, and can you see how the glue, they are not thick enough for me. So I would take the lid off and pour glitter in and shake it up. I did the same to these. I actually squeezed some of that extra glue into these and then I added more glitter because these are all ancient and you know what? You can barely find them. You sure can't find Studio G glitter glue. You still could get it at Michael's and Walmart, but no. So you have to be really careful and you need to test a few drops. Okay, that's fine. So use your warm color on your cool colored card and you just please put them far enough away that they don't run into each other. Ask me how I know. Don't squeeze it, just let it come out. <laughs> or barely, barely squeeze it. And one for the middle. On a bigger middle, I would go around like that and around the outside. Do your other ones. I lost my lid. It's over here. Same, same with these. Shake it up. Wait. Do a little test. Okay, that's not wanting to come out. Take a pin. Do some surgery. This one's being hateful. The 
this just sometimes happens. It's better to know that these things happen. Do you have, what are those called? Stickles. I think they still sell Ranger stickles. You can use that. You can glue little rhinestones on. Uh-oh. Why? Why? Anyway. <laughs> Get your thing working right. When they dry, they are shiny and cool. And I had so much fun giving them away at work. These. So that's kind of what they're like when they're done. I love them. And I hope you have fun making them and giving them away and just staring at the wonderful, <laughs> fabulous backgrounds. You could, okay, let's say you're not doing that. Put an image on there. Put an image, put a sentiment. Backgrounds are good for a lot of things, but they're especially good for these. So I'll see you later.